The Chinese EV market is a complete scam. Dozens of companies have gone bankrupt and thousands of EVs are purposefully left to rot at hidden graveyards all over the country. There's a secret EV car crisis going on behind the Great Wall of China and they don't want you to know about it. Want to know something even more shocking? Hundreds of Chinese EVs are exploding on the streets. See for yourself. Just to lay down some cold hard facts, nearly 90% of Chinese EV makers have either collapsed or are on the brink of extinction. Why is the Chinese EV market collapsing? What's the dark secret behind thousands of cars ending up in graveyards? Is China trying to hide something? There's only one company with a sinister agenda behind all this. And no, it's not who you're thinking. Stick with us as we take you behind the scenes and tell you all about the Chinese EV scam in just 10 action-packed minutes. We promise not to waste your time. The alarming truth of China's exploding EVs. In a country renowned for its pioneering advancement in electric vehicles, a surprising sight has emerged on the outskirts of the Chinese city of Hangzhou. Sprawling fields dotted with abandoned EVs, reminiscent of eerie car graveyards. A recent video showed fields of abandoned electric cars, brand new cars just left. Some of the EVs in the footage include the Geely Candy K10 EV, Netta V, and BYD E3 models. Another eerie case is when a few reporters saw hundreds of cars parked just alongside a river on the outskirts of Hangzhou. All the cars belong to an electric car sharing company called Microcity. The company claims to the Chinese media that the cars are still in use. But when the media tried to book a ride through the company's official app, there were no cars available for rental in the vicinity. A decade ago, China initiated a government-backed push into the electric vehicle domain. They started a massive production of early-gen EVs with limited features, and in some cases, batteries that barely lasted 100 kilometers or roughly 62 miles per charge. This is quite similar to what happened in 2018. Companies like Ovo and Mobike produced thousands of bikes, but had to later toss them aside when business soured. In present, China is currently churning out nearly 6 million EVs per year. But with the new issues that have cropped up, this might not be the case forever. Keep on watching to find out. Yet, there's a dark side. Many EV-focused companies have disappeared, and the number of electric car makers has plunged from about 500 in 2019 to just 100 now. We'll tell you how and why this happened in just a couple of minutes. Producing EVs uses a lot of energy, so ditching them early on doesn't do our planet any favors. Plus, those abandoned EV batteries? They're packed with eco-friendly goodies like nickel, lithium, and cobalt that could be recycled. But nobody cares. All the Chinese government cares about is selling these EVs to the masses and making a bigger profit chunk every day. So who's the villain here? Tesla, with its massive price cuts due to localized production and awesome features rivaled by none. When Bloomberg journalists ventured into Hangzhou's car graveyards, they discovered a chaotic mishmash of electric vehicles from various manufacturers and ride-hailing services. Most notably, numerous vehicles from Chongqing Changgang Automobile Company, once operated by giants like Diddy Chuxin Technology Company and Fast Step Automobile Management, lay discarded in these fields. Tesla, Elon's killing machine. When Elon Musk's Tesla opened its factory in Shanghai in 2020, it was stepping into a market where most of its competitors were producing low-quality EVs that hardly tempted consumers away from their good-looking combustion engine counterparts. With grand ambitions, the Chinese government offered astonishing rebates, up to 60,000 yuan or $8,400 per vehicle, while simultaneously putting restrictions on gasoline car ownership in major cities. Tesla used this perfect opportunity to enter the mass market. As per a Bloomberg report, encouraged by government subsidies, a multitude of automakers dove headfirst into EV manufacturing. But there's a nefarious underbelly thriving in this green push. Some companies, seeking to exploit the subsidy program, began producing Phantoms, an empty chassis without batteries or EVs that didn't fit the correct specifications. It's estimated that in 2016 alone, companies falsely claimed over 9.3 billion yuan. This caused the creation of these so-called ghost cars that are now sitting collecting dust. But the cars which did make it to production in China aren't all that good either. Brands under fire. Shocking story. Chinese EVs are blazing. 
but not in a good way. Reports of electric vehicles catching fire are soaring, leaving the nation alarmed and questioning its green dreams. That's a 32% spike and it boils down to an unsettling seven electric vehicles going up in flames daily. Compare that to the last two years when there were only 86 reports of electric car fires. It's no wonder folks in China are now rethinking their move to EVs. While budget companies often have issues related to such hazards, luxury car makers like BMW are also catching fire. The Harmony OS-powered Ito M5, displayed proudly in a Mongolian store, didn't just catch fire, it burned to its frame, tragically claiming two lives due to carbon monoxide poisoning. China's EV giant, BYD, hasn't been spared either. From 2020 to 2022, they've had 11 of their cars catch fire. Other brands like Li Cars saw five fires, Xpeng had four, and Neo reported one. But why is this all happening? One, fierce price wars. Ever since Tesla initiated price reductions earlier in the year, almost two dozen automakers from homegrown brands like Xping and Geely to global giants like Ford and Toyota have slashed their prices. This desperate bid to maintain a competitive edge and stimulate demand is symptomatic of the larger issues at hand and is killing startups by the day. Two, numbers tell the tale. China, the world's largest automaker, is eyeing close to 25 million vehicle sales this year. Despite a steady overall growth, the proliferation of EVs and plug-in hybrids is still less. 3. Adverse Impact on Profitability While customers are holding out for more significant discounts, the industry faces a double whammy. Analysts have pointed out that the aggressive price competition, while boosting EV sales, is endangering the sector's overall profitability. Even suppliers are bearing the brunt, with many forced to accept reduced payments. This then leads to cheaper materials and lower quality of production. All in all, this is a classic case of big companies destroying small ones and leaving little behind for consumers. And the Chinese government is in on this too. After all, they've got to make some money from the EV boom too, right? The Great Electric Meltdown As traditional automakers and fledgling startups jostle for the electric throne, sales are plummeting. Now imagine this, Tesla, the global EV titan, has slashed prices by a staggering 5% to 15%. You'll be surprised to know that nearly 50% of China's EV makers are either bankrupt or gasping for financial aid. The race for electric dominance has turned savage, and with titans like Tesla and BYD flexing their muscles, we're left on the edge of our seats wondering who will emerge from the dust. China for long, the leader in electric vehicle space, is undergoing a dramatic shift. Conventional car makers and EV newcomers are wrestling for a piece of the market amid sinking sales and heightened rivalry. While Tesla and big names like BYD Company are solidifying their positions, one can only ponder who will outlive this fierce battleground. Now, imagine this scenario. A short while ago, China had a deep affection for hybrid cars. But regrettably, that passion has faded, and the nation now favors pure electric vehicles. It's akin to leaving your childhood love for a movie superstar. Quite a twist, huh? However, there's a less glamorous part of this narrative, and it's not all fairy tales. In 2018, a jarring number of downturns began to appear among EV brands. The Chinese automotive sector felt the tremors, and many manufacturers' foundations started to wobble. Take Letting as an example, a past top seller that once held a staggering 30% market share. From 2016 to 2018, Letting marketed an incredible 647,000 low-speed electric vehicles, or LSEVs, in China. For some context, Tesla only moved 76,000 vehicles worldwide in 2016. But as the old saying goes, what goes up must come down. Now on the verge of bankruptcy, Letting is almost dead. In an interview with Bloomberg in 2018, he remarked, the development of electric vehicles is significant to the transformation of the global auto industry, as well as the advancement of the energy revolution and improvement of environmental quality. Under Wan Gang's influence, the Chinese government launched numerous initiatives to support the EV industry. They implemented measures such as subsidies for EV manufacturers and consumers, tax breaks, and procurement contracts. Additionally, local governments built out an impressive charging infrastructure to support EVs. However, while his leadership played a significant role in the rise of EVs in China, he was not naive about the challenges ahead. 
In a speech at a forum in Boao, he said that the biggest challenge facing electric cars isn't the technology, it's the business model. Electric cars are the direction of future development, but the journey to that future is going to be a tough one. EV makers are facing problems. On one hand, the world is buzzing with excitement about these futuristic rides. But behind the curtains, Chinese EV makers are battling huge problems. First off, money. You'd think investors would be throwing cash at these companies, right? Wrong. Government rules keep changing and investors are spooked. It's like trying to play football and they keep moving the goalposts. Cha-ching! More like cha-choked. Now, with limited cash, these companies are in a race against time. They want to create the coolest EVs, but with tight pockets. What happens? Some of them are cutting corners, giving us not so great quality cars, while big brands are crushing them. Take Neo Inc, for example. Their cars, facing drama over battery safety, leading to tons of recalls. And poor BYD. They wanted to go all fancy and high end with their Han model, but fell flat on sales. The solution is so bad that many companies are even faking their sales numbers just to stay afloat in the market. While all this is happening, giants like Tesla and BYD still continue to push out EVs. We have political agendas, environmental rallies, and entire governments trying to sell us to shift to EVs. It appears as if EVs are forced upon us when you really think about it. Maybe this is a small part of a possibly bigger plan by the government after all. Who wouldn't like an EV which could be turned off just by pressing a button of someone sitting thousands of miles away wanting to track and control your life? With that, we bring an end to this video. Do you think this vandalism in the name of innovation is fair? What if there comes a day when all there's left is just a few evil car brands like Tesla and all others are left to rot? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and while you're at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like the video. We just posted another shocking video about what's going on in the EV industry, so be sure to watch out for that.